Hey guys, my name is Alex Pierce and today I'm going to be talking about baking. I'm going to split this up into a few videos, but basically we're going to be talking about um, baking out uh, materials into textures that you can use in PBR workflows, like if you want to send it to Unity or Unreal or Sketchfab or whatever. We're going to talk about uh, merging objects and with different materials, putting them all on one, baking them all to one texture. And we're also going to be talking a little bit about uh, baking lighting, but let's just jump right in. So if you've if you've never baked using Blender's internal method, I highly suggest you don't ever do it. <laughs> no, I'm teasing. It's it's pretty tedious. It's fine if you're just doing one thing, but uh, if you're doing uh, some pretty complex stuff, it can get uh, really old really fast. You should definitely learn how to do it. There's a lot of tutorials out there that show you how to do it, but there's a lot of uh, steps and there's there's you can easily overwrite stuff and there's a lot of I've, I've come into a lot of issues just using it um, but uh, but it's great to know how to do it and occasionally sometimes it's faster to do it just using the um, uh, using internally but uh, what I'm gonna be talking about is a, uh, a plugin called simple bake so simple bake you can find on blendermarket.com and uh, and and this guy has uh, the guy who, who created it has a great demo on how to use it as well. Um, so you can watch that and, and get some more familiar with it as well. I'm gonna be talking about some a few things that are more specific. He doesn't really get into, I think, m multiple materials. And, uh, I, and I think he was using an older version when he, uh, when he first made it. So anyway, it's a great product. It's honestly probably my favorite plugin of all time. <laughs> Uh, when you start having to bake stuff, it just gets really tedious. So, uh, <laughs> all right, so let's just jump in. So the first one I want to talk about, let's just go ahead and hide some of these other objects. I just made a few, uh, simple objects and, um, let's see, let's hide this as well. So let's just focus in on this. We'll switch to push the Z, go to material preview so we can see what, what we have here. Um, so this is just the default. Suzanne, um, and all I've done here is I've changed the color, the base color, I've turned metallic up to one, and I've turned roughness down to zero. So it gets this this uh, interesting, weird metallic uh, uh, material. And if I wanted to export this as a FBX and bring it into Unity, for instance, um, right now there's not, it wouldn't know what's going on. So you need to bake out all these uh, the different things. So you don't even have to create uh, UV maps with Simple Bake, which is is pretty amazing. Um, again, something you need to know how to do because it, smart UV project doesn't always work. But uh, I'll just show you how easy this can be, and then we can talk about it. So, um, so with your with your object selected, you would go to the Render tab, make sure in Cycles and CPU, and then um, go down to Simple Bake. This is obviously after you've installed it. I'm not going to go over that. Uh, so once you've installed Simple Bake, it'll be over here. You can do this. There's a few different um, options. So if you want to do regular cycles stuff, you can use Simple Bake to uh, to do it. And there's some some benefits to that. But we'll go over that probably when we talk about lighting. Uh, but but most of the time you're going to use this uh, bake mode, this PDR mode. Um, so so here we go. We can look and see that. Okay. So I need from this one. Um, there's I've changed the base color, the metallic, and the roughness. Uh, and so what I can do here is I can choose those here. I can say diffuse, roughness, and depending on uh, where you're going, you might choose gloss or rough. Uh, and then uh, metal. And then, so with those three selected, I can come down here, say, we'll just say 2K for now. Um, we'll say 1K. That's actually, it's fine for now. Um, you can choose to... Uh, export bakes. We'll go over some more detail here in a minute. I just want to sort of get through this to show you. Um, I think we already have UV maps. Yep. So we're going definitely going to do that. Um, and we'll say bake PMR maps. So, <clears throat> uh, so it it might not look like anything's happened. And but what you can what happened was so it this is our new monkey <laughs> so now instead of having uh, nothing attached we have these textures and these textures can go to um, 
uh, you know, yeah, wherever you wherever you need it to go. So if we click down here, I can just find what it's just baked out. So Suzanne baked diffuse. So it baked this. This is the diffuse that's being plugged into base color. It baked the metalness, which is this one, since it's uh, since it has a, a a value of one. Everything that's one is white, and then uh, roughness. So, oops, do 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 roughness so oh sure because I turn the roughness all the way down so roughness is just black but that's fine it's still <laughs> I was like wait what's going on um, now you could also do uh, let me I'm gonna I don't wanna get ahead of myself so let's just now go through uh, so now you have these three uh, th these three textures you could use this in a PBR workflow so now let's go through and talk about what I did a little bit more so um, and, and some more of these options so you have uh, down here you have texture settings and it looks pretty self-explanatory. You can enter in manually if you want. You can choose whatever you want, 128 by 128 um, or whatever. Uh, test is a good one as well. Test just basically makes a, uh, a quick, what is it, 128, uh, just to see, just to make sure it's working okay. Um, so especially if you're on a slower computer or, or you're baking something really big, it might be good to just use test to make sure it's working right before you bake a higher uh, resolution. Um, yeah, this one is probably more for, for uh, normal maps. Let's see. Yeah. So, yeah, that is is what it is. Alpha is what it is. Um, export bakes, I think you should always, always, always check. Uh, this one is one of those things that if you've used the internal uh, baking before, it it can be easy to you bake something you forget to save it you close blender and now that image is gone forever and you have to do it again so it's always good to just export it um, it, it exports in the same um, spot as your blend file so you have to make sure you save your blend file first and then you have some different options for exporting formats um, we'll talk a little bit about UV maps using these settings in the next uh, in the next video um, but yeah, restore originally active UV map at the end is usually what you want because basically if you look here, so this is the new one, right? What it did was it, it hid the old version, uh, which is this one. And then it gave us this, it, it, uh, gave us this new one, this new one. Um, it, it, we didn't change the UV maps on this one, but in the next one we were going to, but even here you can see it, it changed. Uh, it has a different UV map than, uh, this one. So if you wanted to go back, so let's say that you um, need to come back to this project and do something with the original file, you want to make sure that this one is uh, is the one that's selected. So uh, let me go back to render, and then um, batch name, and then this is this is really helpful in my opinion. You can uh, copy objects and apply the bakes, which is what we did, and basically it automatically created this, hid the old one, made the new one visible, and now we can see it's all hooked up correctly. Uh, and then, you know, for instance, now if I need, if I didn't need this anymore, I could just delete it. Uh, but, uh, again, I'm going to leave it there for now. Um, and then, yeah, you can choose to hide or not hide. Uh, this is great too, because if you are going to be baking normals, um, you can, you can bake selected objects to target object. And you can also, uh, if you don't hide it, I guess you, it doesn't really matter because you're, you're, um, you're, you're selecting it here. So. It's not, not a big deal. But uh, the last option that I'll kind of talk about is this channel packing. This one is interesting. I haven't actually used it yet. Uh, but channel packing is where you put, um, you know, an, a, an a, 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 a image has RBGA uh, channels. There's four different channels. But many uh, textures are black and white. So, for instance, this texture is, is a black texture. Um, and so... Um, you could have metalness and roughness. Those are both black and white. So you could have metalness in the red channel and roughness in the green channel, for instance. And uh, and, and that can give some memory performance in Game Engine and whatnot. So, uh, I, but again, I haven't really messed with it too much, but I think it's a great option. And um, specifically for WebGL, I think it's probably more important. So I might do some more experimentation with that. But so I'll just go through this process one more time. This cube has uh, has this, this is the material setup for this cube. And you can see it's a little bit more complex than our than our Suzanne. Um, 
and you can you know all these all these factors are going to play into our bake so uh so let's just go through it again so with our cube selected go up to simple bake bake mode and then we want to select everything that we want so this one has a normal map so we're going to check normal OpenGL for unity DirectX for unreal i believe um, and there's other applications you might need to check depending on where you're going um, let's see yep oh, this all looks good 1k we don't need alpha um, export bakes yes we don't need to worry about UV maps all this looks okay so let's go ahead I'm gonna uncheck that and bake All right, so you can see we have our uh, baked cube here. It looks it looks exactly the same, um, but it's a lot more. It's simplified, and now it's in a PBR workflow. You could bring this into Unity or Sketchfab or whatever, um, and you would have a map for metalness, a map for roughness, a map for diffuse, and a map for or excuse me, a texture for diffuse, texture for metalness, a texture for roughness, and a texture for your normal. I think we're just sort of scratching the surface of what you can do with Simple Bake, but in the next video we'll go over merging objects with different materials. So we'll talk about putting, uh, taking all three of these objects and combining them into one object that shares all the same textures. So I hope this tutorial was helpful, and uh, yeah, take care.